What's up guys, this is iPhones and iPods and today I have exciting news and that is the 3.1 official 3.1 jailbreak for your iPhone first generation, your iPhone 3G and your iPod Touch first generation. Now this is the initial like first ever 3.1 jailbreak from the dev team so your 3GS and your uh, second generation iPod touches are not compatible. And I'm sorry for that, but uh, this is just the initial one. And um, later on, obviously, those will become compatible and you will be able to jailbreak. So um, it's pretty simple. It's a quick pwn tool that you'll download from the link in the description. And um, I'll just get right into this. Uh, first off, let me just say that if you are on uh, your 3G iPhone and you are unlocked, this is not something to do. You want to obviously keep your cellular service. So. Don't attempt this if you're on 3.0 firmware, not just 3, not 3.1, but 3.0 firmware, and you're unlocked. Don't do this. If you do have a 3G and you're not unlocked, and you have an iPod Touch first generation or a uh, first generation iPhone, then go right ahead, do this. It's pretty simple, and I'll take you all through. All, I'll take you through all the steps. All right, guys. So the first step to jailbreaking our 3G iPhone. Uh, iPhone first generation and iPod touch first generation and I promise that's the last time I'll say those three at the same time we're going to navigate to the dev team blog and we're going to scroll down now first off I said most of these things in the beginning of my video but you want to read this portion of their uh, of their post before you do anything and after you've done that we're going to scroll down to unofficial mirrors let me just get out closer from that unofficial mirrors you don't want to do the bit torrent one that was just it takes a little while so we're going to click an unofficial mirror I'm just going to click the last one. It doesn't really matter which one you click. And now I've already uh, downloaded it, so you can just pick any one and it'll download and it should show up on your desktop as the Pwnage tool. Right there. So we're going to want to open that up and we're going to open up the Pwnage tool. And this is where the jailbreaking process, and it doesn't matter, just click open. This is where the jailbreaking process actually begins. Alright, before we go any farther, make sure your device is connected to your uh, computer, obviously. And click, alright, okay. <laughs> and choose your device. Obviously, I have, I have my 3G, so you click whatever device you have, click 3G. Continue. And right now, it's going to select the uh, IPSW bundle firmware file that you're going to use. It will find it for you. This is what it looks like. Just, just click that and continue. It's going to say it's going to create a uh, IPSW file and it will be on your desktop and this is the file that you are going to restore your device with and we ask us to continue, just click yes. Do you have an iPhone 3G contract that would activate, activate normally through iTunes? This is if you bought yours at the Apple Store and you didn't buy it unlocked randomly. So I'm going to click yes, whatever you have click whatever you need. Yes, and right now it's going to build my IPSW file. This could take a while, so I'm going to cut the video and it might ask you for your computer password. So uh, just let it do that and um, let it do its thing. It could be a little while, so I'm just going to cut this video for you right there. Alright, so once you've gotten the uh, IPSW file all downloaded and it's made it for you, it should show up on your desktop, like so, like mine did and you're going to get this prompt. It's going to say, has your iPhone 3G been pwned before? Does it have the pineapple logo? If you aren't sure, click no. This is this is pretty much just asking you if you want the uh, pineapple logo on your startup. Um, I would click no if I were you. And it's uh, it's funny how it says 3GS because it's not compatible yet, but I guess uh, they're just putting that in there for when it does become compatible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click no. And it's going to ask me to turn off my device. Now this is when it's going to be going into DFU mode. So, oopsie, my iTunes opened up. Don't worry about that. Just gotta turn off your device, and we're going to uh, do the DFU mode stuff. It's pretty simple. Just follow the on-screen instructions. I don't think I need to show it for you guys. Sorry, I can't still have my phone. It's just when you hold the button and all that stuff, it'll give you on-screen instructions as you do it. It's pretty simple. And uh, once you're done with that, we're at the next step. All right, oopsie. It's going to uh, come up with a lot of things. Hold on just a second. It's going to say, let me just move this out of the way. Successfully enter DFU mode. Close the Punish tool application, start iTunes, and restore your custom firmware bundle. So just click OK. 
and press the next button, which will just give you the next screen to the uh, main screen. We can just exit out of Punch Tool now and um, open up iTunes like I already have, and it says, like it should, recovery mode. It, it, that means it's in. It, that, that means it is in DFU mode. So uh, click OK and make sure your device is plugged in. Recovery mode, click OK. This is the uh, importance part. We're going to uh, we're going to want to click restore, but we're going to hold Option click, like many of you jailbreakers should know. Option restore, and you're going to select the IPSW bundle file that it had made for you, which is right here. So go to your desktop and click that, and choose. Now. This next process is going to just uh, restore your firmware just like it would normally, but it will be jailbreaking when you're done. So you've done all the hard stuff now, now you can just wait and your reward will be when you're done. So um, I hope this was pretty simple guys, I tried to say it as, uh, easy, as possible, uh, easy as I possibly could. You should get this white screen it's also by the way. And um, there's a pineapple logo, meaning it's getting jailbroken. So um, now all you have to do is wait, and uh, when it's done I'll show you guys. That is Joe Broken on 3.1 firmware. All right, guys. So as you can see, hopefully my phone has done is done restoring, and I have Cydia on the uh, and I see. And uh, so what? Just to prove to you guys that this is the 3.1 firmware, I'm just going to go into my general real quickly and show you. There you go. Get that zoomed in. 3.1. So uh, now you guys should have your Cydia and IC. So guys, pretty simple. That is how you jailbreak 3.1 firmware for your iPhone 3G first generation and iPod Touch first generation. If you have any questions, hit me up on your email below or over there and uh, so, uh, follow me on Twitter and all that good stuff. So thanks guys. Hope it was easy. Like I said, links in the description and there you go.